am Doug. And I'm Kathy. And this, and this is, is Maggie, Maggie May. May. Join us as we follow the moon. Well, it's been a little peace for us. We were over in Sedona, as you saw in our last travel video. We left there, we went to Tucson, we took a week off. We didn't film, we didn't go to much of anything. We were actually staying at the Encore Voyager Resort. We'll put a link to the video that we've previously done on that park there. Hasn't changed, it's still wonderful, great yes. restaurant, yeah. everything. So we took a little bit of time off and we are now traveling through Texas on our way south for the winter. We are right now in Bandera, which is the uh, world capital of the cowboy. And yeah, the, something like that. And uh, <laughs> so we'll show you around Bandera. We've got a couple more surprises in store for you. So come along. Thanks. Now we're kind of starting off today with the Old West, and that's Bandera. Bandera's historic town center is just about a block off of the main road. And you'll find every one of these buildings has historic markers on them. They've been around since the, at least the mid 1800s. We actually passed by these on our way out of the area in the spring, and I thought, oh, we really missed a gem. Yeah, and we did. So. One of the first places we went back to was Bandera. They have big names in cowboy entertainment, no doubt about that. And you look at the main road going through town and it really is like a step through the Old West. There really are not sidewalks. You kind of end up walking past the fronts of the buildings and past the uh, uh, parking spaces but most of the town is built like how it was back in the day they do have this really neat uh, park in the middle of town and this shows you the cattle drive how they dr had the cattle drive going straight up north up into Nebraska and it is the cowboy capital of the world it's actually been pro proclaimed as that through the Texas legislature. Yeah, it was really cool to see all of the, uh, the what do they call those? The brands? The brands, yeah. yeah. That gives you a little history on, on the declaration of it. But uh, the old water tower that's up there, uh, it's it's just really a neat little town. Here's a, a restaurant and you walk underneath their canopy and you read their menu as you go by. I <laughs> like that. That's a great use of a small space. Sure is. Now that is the general hardware store and this is what it looks like inside. Like you just stepped back in time. That's right. It's like it hasn't changed in 150 years. And that soda fountain, that was just spot on. It was great. And the Chupacabra Meat Company, I don't think that was like genuine chupa, Chupacabra they were selling. Yeah, I doubt it. Yeah, they had some really, really cool storefronts, but uh, we we did have a little surprise while we were here in town. That First National Bank was really a cool looking building. Yeah. But uh, as we uh, were walking down the street, go past the restaurant here, they've got, you name it, this little town has got at least one of everything out there. Uh, I like the, uh, the pickle place there. <laughs> But this is the one that kind of got me. We didn't realize that one of our team here has diversified and Maggie May has her own storefront. Well, you know, we've been traveling through the desert. You all, you saw all those uh, cactus there out front. And, and she she has really, really good food. So she must be able to afford it somehow. So. Yeah. But yeah, you talk about a step back through time, places there to hitch your horse up. That was one of their uh, drinking establishments. I thought it was kind of neat how it was built out over that ravine right there in town. 
the bunkhouse has entrance for rooms one through four. <laughs> they do have a large hotel just on, on the edge of the downtown. I love this this rooster <laughs> chicken. Yeah, I was gonna say. See, dude, now we know why he crossed the street. He went to get over to the frozen yogurt, I guess. That's right. Now, this is the uh, county courthouse. And it has been around for a long time. It went under a renovation in the mid 60s. It's quite a beautiful building. It really is. And it still is their courthouse. It's a very historic building. Lots of markers along the front of it. But it's still the courthouse that they use every day. And so I went up to the big wooden doors and just looked in. And it looks like it was renovated in the mid-60s. <laughs> it's really a cool building, though. Now, I like the wash house. Yes, that's the little laundromat. And everything is bigger in Texas. Oh Hate to say we did have a discussion for a while if that was real or not. But <laughs> <laughs> this is their historical museum. And it had just closed for the day when we'd gotten there. Uh, but definitely would be worth going to. The next stop, this is where Texas gets really old. This is Government Canyon. Both of these were within about 30 minutes of the campground we were at, which was Medina Lake. Yeah. And this one is a really neat uh, state park and it has dinosaur footprints. Now, if you wanna see the dinosaur footprints like we did, they have several different trails you can take. The Joe Johnston route is the route you wanna take. It is 5.7 miles. It's a slight grade going uphill as you go back. So it is at least a slight grade going down as you're coming out. It is not a loop. It is a straight trail that is a total of 5.7 miles round trip. It was very hot. We made it back here to see the dinosaur tracks. Yes, we did. And they are phenomenal. I honestly didn't try this um, in the spring because I didn't feel like I could do that long of a hike. Now they do tell you a little bit of the backstory on this. This was when the shoreline of the Gulf of Mexico came clear up to this area just outside of San Antonio. That's so amuse amazing to think of that. And these are footprints that were left by dinosaurs that were roaming the earth 110 million years ago. Uh, just mind-boggling and some of them are impressions but some of them you can actually see like the claw or the toe yeah. impressions yeah. in there and and they're they're huge and if you stand back and and just look at them in respect to how they landed you can see which way they were walking and that there were some coming the other direction. That's kind of a wash going up that way. There's three areas that are all right in the same spot, but there's three areas with the footprints that you can really get to see them. If you're feeling especially uh, adventuresome and energetic, you can go just a short ways down the trail from there. There is a house called the Zeiselman House, which is a family of German bakers built that in 1882 and then you can also come back some other way around the canyon for a scenic trip 5.7 miles in the heat was about enough for us yes and that's what we really came here to see were the the dinosaur tracks I loved it well we made it back home after the five mile hike and Kathy, we've seen old Texas in Bandera and really old Texas in dinosaur country. That's right. What did you think? It was really cool. It was a long walk mm -hmm. and uh, you do have to find someone to take care of your pup while you're going down there. That's right. But uh, yeah, it was a 
it was worth it. It was it was a long walk though. It was. And you want to, don't want the heat. <laughs> it, the the trail reminded me of coming across ten. It was a lot of the same scenery over and over and over. <laughs> but once you got back there, it was great. Yeah, it was. Um, it was totally worth and it. And Bandera. Was, Bandera was adorable. It was. I really. It was great. Yeah, I did like that. Yeah. So with that, we hope you've enjoyed the video today. If you have leave us a thumbs up we certainly appreciate it if you haven't already subscribed we'll have a button right up here on the screen that you can tap at the end of the video subscribe and ring the notification bell that way you won't miss any of our videos as they come out that's right and thank you for following us as we follow the